people welcome back to my channel he says clear in the mist another pickups video guys um i managed to get into town I had to do some bits and bobs down there um so i thought you know what i'm going to stick my head in cex uh do a little trade in and see if i can make a pickups video and i, I did manage to um there wasn't a great deal in there uh, i'm finding it quite hard to be quite frank with all this you know seriously thousands of games um you know you're getting a bit short on uh, what you haven't got already to be honest but um i managed to pick up 12 titles um on ps2 wii and nintendo ds so yeah a little bit there at least so i thought you know what it's only 12 items but we'll make a video anyway you know me i don't like waiting and gathering things up Mm, very impatient that's me so yes guys where shall we start obviously all from cex that's where i did the trading hopefully i'll do one um in cash converters on monday fingers crossed they've actually got anything in there and i'll also stick my head in the charity shop so hopefully there's another one coming soon but yeah let's start with the ds titles guys obviously this is one of my usual pickups, so yeah, you're not going to see anything stellar here, really. No, it's all filler again, but interesting nonetheless. So the first title is Generator Rex, Agent of, what's that? Hey, Providence. Hmm, Providence, wow, that's a title and a half, isn't it, eh? Yeah, yeah. weird. Two quid, though never heard of this before guys never never ever heard of it and what a title that is hmm. two quid i didn't mind paying that for one i haven't already got in my uh yeah nintendo ds collection not sure at all what it is like not whatsoever but it is fully boxed with book and black pamphlet right there yeah so that's fantastic to have everything there yeah but yeah never heard of it guys so have you played it have you got an opinion on it is it a good one or is it absolute pants you let me know if you know but yeah i thought that was interesting i say what a title though generator rex agent of providence hmm yeah. yeah next on the ds there's only two on the ds guys and that is balls of fury which i do believe is a table tennis game yes it is that was a two pound fifty that one again don't mind paying that for one i haven't got it could be fun or it could be complete pants again uh, i do like some of the table tennis games there have been some good ones in the past so yeah, it'd be interesting to see if this is a good one or a absolute and utter garbage one. Again, if you know, let me know. And that is complete with book. I don't think there's a black pamphlet this time. Let's have a look. No, no black pamphlet this time, but the book's there. So that's great. Yeah. Balls of Fury. Mm. Sounds a bit like an adult film, doesn't it? Mm, it does. Right, on to the Wii. Right, this one. Very light, this one. Oh, you know what that means, guys. Uh, I mean, if you're a collector, you know straight away when something's missing the manual. And you can tell by the weight. Unfortunately, it was the one better title that is missing the book. And it is Need for Speed Carbon, guys. And I paid three quid for this one. I'm surprised I didn't have it already. If I suddenly realise I do, hopefully it's a box upgrade at least. Yeah, and of course, as I said, yeah, no book. There we go. It's a shame, but it's a great title, so... Yeah. 
and I don't think I've got it. If I have, then hopefully, like I say, it's a box upgrade, if nothing less. All right, the next Wii title is uh, Emergency Mayhem, and I paid a pound for this one. Again, it seemed familiar, but I don't believe I've got it. If I do, it's in fantastic condition, so I'm sure it'll be an upgrade. But I don't think I've got this one. It's just very similar to another one, isn't it? That Heroes one, I think it's got a similar cover to it. Yeah, so that's great for a quid. Don't mind that. All day long to add it to the collection. And that one is complete with book and black pamphlet. There we are. Brilliant. I'm sure it's absolute and utter trash. Let me know. I've never played it, so I haven't a clue for sure, but you just get the feeling it might be. Yeah, might be one of them. There we go, there's the back. Yep. Next we have GT Pro Series. Now, I do have this one. I know I have this one, but this is in fantastic, fantastic condition. So I picked it up, guys, for two quid to have it in so much better condition. Oh, It'd be great. And I do enjoy this game. You know, um, I know it's not the most stellar of races. Um, it's all right. But yeah, I do like playing it. So I was happy to get a better condition one. There we go. There's the back of that one. It's just trying to get out the glare again. There we are. And that one is complete with book. And black pamphlet is there this time as well, as you can see, tucked in the back there. There we are. So yeah, fantastic to get that one in such... I mean, it looks like brand new, guys. It is really like brand new. It is fantastic. So yeah, very pleased to get that one. Then we have a very weird one. that I, I'm surprised I didn't know this one was in existence. Um, All Star Karate. Didn't know it existed. And I paid £1.50 for that one. Again, don't mind that. Even if it's awful. I don't mind paying that to add it to the collection because that's what it's all about at the end of the day, guys. And it might even make a good video if it's that terrible. It'd be fun to get the kids involved, wouldn't it, and have them play it. So, yeah. Well, you know, it could, it could turn out to be a little little doozy, couldn't it? It really could. Who knows? Have you played it? Let me know what you think. That's complete with book and black pamphlet again. So, brilliant. Just see the black pamphlet tucked away in the back there, he says, as he pushes it further in, trying to show you it. There we go. Yep, so a nice one, that one. All-Star Karate. Hmm. Not bad for £1.50 again. Add it to the collection, even if it's just filler. Right, the next one is Face Breaker. K.O. Party. Now, again, I have a feeling I have this. But again, it is in fantastic condition. And it was a quid. Do you know what I mean? A pound. And it'll be quite fun, I'm sure. They'll get some fun out of it, especially the kids. There we go, there's the back. So yeah, I was uh, very happy to pick that one up because it's in such fantastic condition. And it is complete with book. No pamphlet though. No, no pamphlet. Just the book. So yeah, fantastic for that one. Next, we have, again, one, I'm very surprised I didn't have it already, that I didn't pick it up for 50p somewhere, but I actually paid £1.50 this time for this one, and it is Endless Ocean. Now, I can see this being quite interesting. I'm sure that it's more like uh, Swim, Interact, observe experience yeah the wonders of the ocean through the way so yeah it's going to be like an interactive thing rather than a game so that could be quite interesting educational i expect again never ever played it so if you do not let me know what it's like will it be good for uh, like oliver to maybe learn stuff about the world around him and the ocean so one pound fifty for that guys that's fine again didn't have it and that is complete with book. And you can see the black pamphlet in the back there. I don't know if there's anything else. Oh yeah, and another pamphlet there. One of those usual advertising pamphlets. So yeah, very pleased with that. Again, lovely condition. Yeah, fantastic. Interactive game. So yeah, be interesting to see. 
Then we have a £1.50 one again, and this is Avatar The Burning Earth. Again in fantastic condition, and I haven't got this one. I know I haven't got this one. So yeah, there's the back. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, everything's there, guys, again. There's a bit of advertising there, and there's the book. And I think the black pamphlets in the back as well, is it? Let's have a look. Oh yes, black pamphlets there as well, guys. So yeah, fantastic. Complete. And again, one I didn't have. So fabulous to add it to the collection. Again, never played it. Don't know what it's like. If you do, let me know. Is it any good? There we go. Right, now we're on to uh, the last three, guys. Uh, I told you it was a small one. Just 12 games in total. Um, now this one is very interesting. Now I remember, now God, you cast your minds back um, quite some time ago, obviously, uh, when PS2 games were still being sold everywhere. They were still the current console, if you like, or just on the end of their life. Wilkinson's, uh, which is a department store here in the UK that sells just about everything. They're a bit like where I work at Home Bargains. They're, they're very, very similar in that way, but they don't have the... As, as much of the grocery food side of it but they do everything else um they uh had like at this rack in every wilkinson's that was just full of ps2 games but they're ones that you wouldn't have walked into game for instance or in america game store and bought no they, these were absolute and utter trash made by obscure companies nobody's ever heard of and they were games that were aimed at kids just to, you know, cash in on the PS2, basically. They were awful, basically. Now, I've been trying to get some of these. You know, I wished back in the day I'd picked them up for the collection, but I didn't, and now I'm trying to track them down. So I've had to pay two quid for this. I mean, it's probably worth 10 pence, but they're holding a bit of value, and I'll tell you why. Because nobody bought the sodding things. Nobody bought them. And certainly nobody kept them. They bloody got rid of them afterwards. So they're becoming, they're not pricey, but a little bit more than you'd expect to pay. Like I said, you'd expect to pay maximum 50p for one. Well, I paid £2, as I say, for this one. And it is Mouse Police. Now, this is definitely one of those titles, guys, because I remember seeing it in Wilkinson's at the time. I don't know. It says here, yeah, see, they always included a cartoon as well and that's exactly what it says it includes cartoon movie jigsaw puzzle pairs and coloring book well, ah right so they'll be interactive so they'll have a interactive jigsaw and they'll have the coloring books for you to color in interactively it's not physical but yeah that they always had these kind of things on them as well as the game and they're dire guys they're awful absolutely awful I mean, who even makes this one shall we see if it says anywhere who makes this one? Oh, phoenix yeah that's that's one of those people that make them yeah but it is complete with book so i am pleased you know i wanted to get these titles because they are ones that you don't see so much you know um because of the situation with it, that they were all they were already garbage when they came out, um, and they were just a cash in basically on a very successful console. These companies came along and produced this piles and piles of crap. But yet yeah, now a little bit harder to find. Um, so yeah, I'm grabbing them while they're still fairly cheap, although they should be bloody fifty pence. But yeah, that is the story on that one, guys. And I'm hopefully going to add more of these as we go along. I know, I'm mental. I literally have a mental problem with buying crap games. Anyway, next one, guys. This one is uh, the La Mains, uh, no, La Mans, 24 hours. And I paid, ooh, a pound for that one. Again, very surprised I haven't got it, because uh, I love racing games, as you all know. And the man's is always a pretty good franchise and um, so uh, i don't know never played this one in particular played lots of other ones in the same you know the man's uh 24 hour kind of series um but i haven't played this one as such 
let's say it's a pound so it can't be that bloody good can it you would have thought but maybe it's a gem maybe it's a little gem that you can pick up cheap who knows i mean the pictures on the back if that's anything to go by it looks pretty all right so hopefully it's good have you played it let me know is it any good or am i just being deceived by pictures and that is complete again with book so that is fantastic don't think there's anything else no just the book guys but that's what you really expect with ps2 titles anyway so there you go that is fantastic for a quid yeah le mans 24 hours excellent yeah those pictures do look look pretty damn good that's so all have to see what it's like right last one guys last one and this is one again you know <laughs> it's it's the right price guys um i would even have said i've maybe overpaid for it but i'll pick up 50p titles any day so yeah 50p for this one guys and it's let's make a soccer team all we all know the football games apart from the very very few hold any value whatsoever um yeah so 50p for that it's fine i didn't have it and it could be quite fun you know trying to make a soccer team and all that a little bit different um yeah is it going to be a bit like premier manager and all that yeah probably um but yeah 50p add it to the collection it's filler that is fine and it is complete with book again guys and again cx all the discs are in fantastic condition because if they have anything wrong with them whatsoever they clean them all even if it is a 50p title they will clean it so yeah brilliant hmm. well, there you go guys very small pickups um obviously look out tonight at some point i'm going to be uploading another evercade video guys another absolutely fantastic title from the fantastic blaze evercade Oh, that system is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And now some fantastic titles. You know, we haven't even got the next four games yet. But the ten cartridges that are out already have so many stellar titles on them. You know, you won't be disappointed if you invest in an Evercade and the ten titles that are around now. So, yeah, look out for that one, guys. And, uh, yeah, with that, guys, I'm going to say off videos in shoes and goodbye. And please make sure if you're liking my content still to uh subscribe tap that bell icon tap the all icon and obviously give me some thumbs ups guys and with that bye bye and i'll see you in the next one guys bye